Today, I'm going to be taking you on a tour of the best items in my Pokemon collection. If you're looking around the back, you're cheating because as you can see, there's a few spots missing here and there around. Ignore that, okay? Completely ignore that. Yeah, I took stuff off the shelf, okay? Don't cheat. Coming in at number 10, we have one of the coolest N64 controllers ever made. Check out this beautiful... Come on now. We have the Pikachu N64. My guy, check this thing out. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. I picked this thing up on Facebook Marketplace for like 200 bucks way back in the day. And honestly, it is one of the staples of my collection. It's really what got me going. It really is what got this whole room going. So this thing is absolutely beautiful. And if this is coming in at number 10, imagine the things that you guys are gonna see later on in this video, but check that out. The power button is Pikachu's freaking foot! It's his foot! It's his foot, it's, it's honestly, it's unreal. It's absolutely, it's such a cool product and I hate that I even took it down out of its box, but my goodness, man, check that thing out. Next up for one of my top items, we have a card. This card is very, very special to me. It's not the greatest of condition, but it is such an unreal card and I cannot believe I own this card. Check out this beautiful Lugia Shining Legend. Lugia SL, one of the nicest cards ever made. Look at that bad boy right there, shiny Lugia. Now, I am planning on getting this graded, that's why it's in all the nice sleeves and everything. The only problem with this card is whoever previously owned it, they got one little dent right there. Other than that, there's a bit of edge wear and all that goodness that just happens over time, but man, check out that beautiful, beautiful Lugia. Such a nice Pokemon card. Now, this next item, also a Pokemon card. As you can see there though, it's a Japanese card, so a little different for the things I collect. This card is absolutely gorgeous, and it would have made it way higher up in my list if it wasn't for not being graded. If this card was graded, it would have easily made it top three, easily. Now let's check it out. Koro Koro Shiny Mew. If you guys can't tell, I really like my shiny Pokemon. Shiny Mew, the Koro Koro exclusive. This card right here is absolutely gorgeous. It has a bit of edge wear, but man, I cannot wait to get this card graded and you guys will be the first people to see it when it does get graded. Now it is a little off, so I, uh, it didn't really help, but this card, man, it's just, it's so nice. Look at the, it's doing like a backflip. I, I, I can't even explain it. This card is such a nice Pokemon card. It's one of the best I've ever seen. It's, it's phenomenal. Phenomenal. I'm at a loss for words. This card is just so, so nice. And I, I never thought I'd own it. And here I am with it. Now, the next item in my collection is indeed going to be coming as a trio. It's not an individual item. It, it, it has to go together, you'll understand once you see it. These three CGC graded cards are always going to be together as a group. They are, are the consequential numbers, as you can see here. Let's see, we got one nine, two zero, and two one. So these are indeed graded in order. I got these graded myself. They're gorgeous and I can't believe they all got the same grade. Now let's check them out. Back in the day, we had collector's tins. Those tins held the three Johto starters, but there was a problem. They all kinda got ruined in the tin. Now these ones did not. So let's check them out right here. We have the Feraligator Prime Collector's Tin Black Star Promo Heart Gold Soul Silver. Now, typically with these cards, you can see at the top, there are some indents. You can kind of see that indent right there at the bottom. That one got an indent. It sucks, but it still got an eight. As you can see, the Typhlosion, 
also got that eight. This one, the crimps are not very noticeable at all. It's kind of just a perfect card all around. Same with the Meganium. These three cards will and always will be together. They are just so, so nice. And I, I can't believe that I own such nice prime cards in sequential numerical order. They're just like, come on, man. Come on, they're perfect. I swear we're almost done with the Pokemon cards, but man, I just got so many cool cards that it's so hard to stop showing them off. Next up is another CGC graded card. Now, I did get one of these graded myself. It came back a 7.5, so my buddy helped me out and got me an 8.5. Huge shout out to Dylan for that. Amazing guy. Look at this beautiful 8.5. Feraligator Prime. Now, if you don't know, Feraligator is indeed my favorite Pokemon. So having this beautiful Feraligator Prime 8.5 in my collection just makes my heart so happy. This card is truly one of the most special cards in my collection, and I am so happy to own it. it it's just, it's so, so nice looking. Check that bad boy out. Like I said, we're getting away from the Pokemon cards. Next up, I have a Nintendo Switch to show you guys. I did indeed buy this Switch myself. Check this out. It's still, I have the box. It's all beautiful. I did indeed take it out. I don't know what happened to the box there though. That kind of sucks, but this Di <laughs> Dialga and Palkia Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl Nintendo Switch Lite is indeed the next item on the list. Check that out. Everybody say hello right there. Check this bad boy out. The reason why, now I do indeed have the Sword and Shield Switch, but this one made it on the list because it's just a perfect replica of the one, the, the, the Nintendo DS that they made for Diamond and Pearl. So this is just a perfect homage to that game. And it's just such a nice throwback for me that I had to throw this at number five on the list, man. Like this, this Nintendo Switch is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at the design on that, the nice sparkly design. I, I cannot, I'm so happy that I have this in my collection and it's gonna be there for years to come. It's just a perfect, perfect centerpiece for my collection. Listen, I said we were done with cards then. I didn't mean we were done with cards forever. We're right back to a Pokemon card. And again, CGC, of course, because I just, I love the blue label. The blue label is so beautiful. I know a lot of people don't agree with that. So just, just hear me out here. This card right here is actually what inspired me to make this video. This card arrived in the mail today and it is my favorite Feraligator card of all time. Look at the artwork on this card. How, there you go, Curtis, you can do it. Look at the artwork on this card, man. It's gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's, uh, it's so nice. Like this card, it, it is easily one of my favorite artworks in the entire Pokemon series. And it's, it's just gorgeous. Like it's absolutely gorgeous. Imagine, imagine this card as an alt art. If they made this whole card this Feraligator art, imagine what they could do making this card an alt art. Absolutely gorgeous card, easily, easily, easily deserving of the number fourth place on my list. Okay, yes, we have another item that cannot be separated. I couldn't just pick one to show off, so I had to grab them all. These, if you know what these are, then you already know what's coming, okay? These are the Pokeballs from the Pokemon Center, from the Wand Company, and they are, they're amazing. I I bought one of these thinking, ah, you know what, I'll buy one. Uh, and I bought the Pokeball first. I'm like, yeah, you know what, I'll buy one. I'll see what it looks like. Look at that, look at that. I'll see what it looks like and we'll go from there. As soon as I held this Pokeball in my hands, like it is a metallic Pokeball and it is just so cool. It does so many things. And like I said, as soon as I bought the one, I couldn't stop. I had to just keep going. These things are absolutely gorgeous. And I'll just show off each one individually really quick here. I got the friend ball, the ultra ball, the poke ball, and the great ball. 
these things, man, they are just so nice for display. That one's a little dusty. As you can tell, I've had these on display. What can I say? Eh? So I'll show them off individually and you guys can pick your favorite. So first up here, I did already kind of show you guys the Pokeball, but here it is in a little bit of a better sense. This thing is absolutely amazing. I. I honestly, it's a perfect display item, especially when you got it lit up on your shelf, just kind of sitting there like, man, it is gorgeous. Oh, big smash. Let me grab the other ones here for you. Let's grab the Great Ball next and we'll check her out. Nice and simply put, like it's got the raised little red pieces here and I, I could make an entire video just on these Pokeballs if I'm being completely honest. But yeah, I mean, man, these things, they're, if you don't know Pokemon and you don't really like, you you really have to appreciate Pokemon is what I'm trying to say to own these things. Like they are a once in a lifetime collectible that any true Pokemon fan is gonna want because this, it, it's just, it's so nice. It is so, so nice. There's a few that I don't own and I really hope that one day I can indeed get them. The Dusk Ball is available right now, the Premier Ball. And I think there's one more that I'm missing, but here are the ones that I have for now. And I, I, I truly, one day I am gonna get them all. It's just gonna happen. They're a little pricey, 150 bucks each, but you can't go wrong. They're just too nice. I'll be honest, I definitely could have planned that last item a little better. That was a little wonky, but here, hey, here we go. The next item on the list, the second last item is indeed going to be another system. It is a 3DS system, and I, I'm sure you guys have seen this a lot on the channel, if you know my channel at all. The Pokemon Red and Blue 20th Anniversary 3DS. There you go, the 20th Anniversary logo. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. It has cover plates, so you get, you basically get two DS's in one if you kind of look at it that way. So I do indeed have the Charizard plates here so I can interchange those. You just gotta screw it off. And now here is the actual 3DS. We got the Blastoise 3DS here. Look at that. When you open it up, it makes a perfect image of the original box art for Pokemon Blue. This thing, man, it, it's, Ah, <laughs> I got this as an Easter gift way back in the day, I guess five years ago now, maybe even six. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. It did come with Pokemon Red and Blue pre-installed and it is easily, it's my second favorite item in my collection. This thing is gorgeous and I cannot, I can't wait to get it back on my shelf because it is the perfect display item. And I, this, it's my baby. This thing is my baby. I had someone try to buy it for me from $500. I turned it down because it's just, can't get rid of it. Can't get rid of it. Now, the moment of truth. What is my number one Pokemon item? What could it be? What could it be? I did indeed do a mail day episode of receiving this card. Now, the last time that anybody saw this card on my channel, it was raw. It was a raw card. Now it's graded. Celebi Gold Star 6.5. Now, yeah, it's not the best grade, okay? I understand that. But man, it's a gold star Celebi. Like, are you kidding me? A freaking gold, I own a gold star. Not just any gold star, a gold star Celebi. Now this thing is, it's from 2006. That is an old card, man. So to get a 6.5, I really can't complain. The fairy onion itself, my beautiful, beautiful Celebi. I I love it to death, man. I love this card to death. It is, it's the centerpiece of my collection and I, I will never part with this item. This, this CGC slab is truly my item. It's my card, it's, I'm so lucky to own this and I, I'll never, I'll never, never take that for granted, man. Gold Star Celebi, easily the number one card in my collection. Now I just wanna give a little outro with this Shining ho -Oh on the screen. It made it in the 11th spot on my list. So a special little shout out to the Shining ho -Oh. Absolutely beautiful card. So if you guys like this video, please hit the like button, hit subscribe and I will catch you in the next one.